You're listening to Shoe In, covering the ins and outs of all things footwear, from sneakers to heels, loafers to slippers, and every type of shoe in between. Brought to you by the FDRA, the Footwear Industries Association focused on retail, trade, politics, and fashion. Helping create and enhance conversations on all things footwear. And now your footwear insiders, Matt Priest and Andy Holt. What is that? Oh, is that kids? That's kids. Oh, <laughs> folks, we are uh, taping at uh, FN Platform, and we're trying to get some fast footwear insights. So we sent Jasmine out to the showroom floor, walked around, um, yes. talked to a lot of different folks, saw a lot of different product. Uh, but one of those things that caught her eye, one of the booths was uh, was a kid shoes booth. Jasmine, who, who were you talking to? I was talking to a brand called Booty Loves. Booty uh, <laughs> And they had a really interesting story. So I think it's something that the audience will find very interesting. Awesome. Let's hear it. Okay, we are at FM Platform with Nicholas Palos, and he is with... Yes, we are. Uh, I'm the founder of Botilus, and the brand is developed in Europe. Okay. We are present over 3,000 points of sale in Europe. Wow. And from uh, last year, we are producing rain boots uh, in Italy, but in uh, California. So we have both production. Okay. And we start to sell in the U.S. and with a successful out, uh, sellout for this winter. So rain boots are what sells the most right now for your brand? I'm a DSW kids, okay. uh, kids shop, shoe mm-hmm. shops and uh, a lot of the main thing of rain boots, they are smelling. I mean, you can see the, they are smelling oh, strawberries. Oh, they smell like candy. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. And uh, and the warm socks is produced with a recycled water bottle. This is felt from recycling. The inside? Yes, okay, exactly. So, you so use they are really exactly um, they are sustainable. Okay. And we are producing the, the rain boots in California with California material. It okay. Really wow. Really so it's qualitative like... and safe material for kids. Cool. And what made you decide to put a scent to the boots? <laughs> we started t- uh, 20 years ago wow. in, uh, in Italy to produce this with uh, ice cream and cake flavor. So okay. that's why. How long does the scent last? Uh, one year and a half because the scent is inside the material. Wow. So after when you are moving, uh-huh. And there is a smell. So By any a, chance, do people have a choice of what smells they can <laughs> choose yeah, from, like because, strawberry? Or yes, exactly. The, uh, uh, the <laughs> yellow one is banana. Okay. And the, the other one, so <laughs> the, there is the different, color. different. Oh, specific uh, to the color. So yes. the flavor is um, specific to the color. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Right. And what, um, how, like, what small, what's the smallest that your brand carries? We start with the really small baby size, infant size, okay. uh, size three, so really small. Okay. And we are really strong on these uh, kids' boots. So yeah, and they feel taller really good and too. Infant. Exactly. Yeah. And we are not so cheap, uh, expensive, because we are around 35 or 40 euros. Okay. On the retail price. Do you know what that is in American dollars? Uh, sorry, forty dollars. <laughs> oh, forty dollars. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, okay, no, no. cool. $40. Oh, that's not bad at all. No, so okay. that's why. Right. And the what about the difference in markets? Do you feel like one shoe does better, you know, in Europe versus in America? I know the crazy thing. We are really strong on baby size in Europe, and now we saw uh, we, we are. It's exactly the same in US. Oh, wow. And okay. so it's a good thing because... So we, you don't see much of a difference? No, there is not so much difference. The difference is the sizes. We, we had to open five new malls for production in the U.S. Okay. Because of the difference of the size. Different Otherwise, sizes. no, there is no, not so many different. Botilus is a really strong brand for babies. Babies okay. and small kids. And do you focus solely on kids' wear? Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and what about winter boots as well? Is that something that you've done for a long time? Did you start out winter Yes, in boots? Europe for a long time and in the uh, U.S. we are starting. So oh, okay. let's see the results. Oh, okay. <laughs> so um, winter boots will be new to the exactly. U.S. market. Exactly. Oh, when do you plan on releasing those? This coming winter? No, we will, the first delivery will be uh, next winter. Oh, wow. Okay. 2008. Do they smell 18. like Christmas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with strawberry scent, <laughs> red one. <laughs> oh, the winter boots will be with scented as well. Yeah, yes, exactly, okay. exactly. And we put inside the material the cake flavor, so like this. Okay. 
it's really That's special cool. yeah. and amazing. And what about online? Do you do? Are you heavy online presence? Yes, we are developing this business. We were just with Zappos, and we will oh, see. Oh wow! Okay. Okay. Zappos are members of ours. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and where can people find these shoes? Like where? Where DSW? Yes. And what other kind of? And we are working with different other uh, department store. Okay. But I don't yeah, want we'll to. See. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Boxing progress>. Okay. <laughs> and if um if they want to find you online, where can they go? Yes, now the better thing is to go to DSW website okay. and you will... DSW the, website yes, is exactly. where you can find them Exactly. Okay, great. Exactly. Thank so, you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Very cool. So we had a, uh, a European brand who's selling DSW. Nice. Yeah, selling in very DSW. Cool. Mm -hmm. They're I, entering the U.S. market now. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll have some success, maybe, maybe bringing a little bit of a different flair to the marketplace. So that's yes. very cool. Um, who else were you uh, walking the floor and talking to? So I stopped by the Polo brand. Um, it's a brand that I love. So Marco. Um, <laughs> Polo? So I wanted yes, to see what yes, they indeed. had in the um, kids section as well. Very so cool. They, had a, they have a lot of new things that they're starting to incorporate. So Very cool. Let's hear it. I'm here with Erica with BBC, and we are at the Polo brand right now. Um, Erica's going to share with us some new things that are going on with the Polo brand for kids. Yes. Um, one of the biggest things that we've seen right now is something that we introduced in Fall 17, and it's hap something that's happening between Ralph Lauren Apparel and across all the whole entire brand is okay. the Polo Bear. So okay. we've probably seen some of that happening, and we did a soft launch with some of our um, we did the boot right here, uh, the Ranger boot right here. Oh, we did a little cute. bit of a soft launch in fall, mm -hmm. and we expanded on that in some of our court styles in spring. So we had three styles that we introduced in spring. Okay. And this is in line with what they're doing in apparel. They're having they're launching bear in a big way. Okay. So we're really excited to see. We're shipping this in um, spring 18, okay. and it'll be a late February ship. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it'll probably be in stores mid to end of March. Great. So, is the were you saying that the bear was something that they're doing all across the board for the brand? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. okay. So a little Men's, less of the horse and, and more of the bear. Yeah, I mean okay. the horse is always relevant, but I right. think this is something that's new and exciting. And some of the bears are taken from the archives, and some of them are being introduced. So it's something that we're really excited about. Yeah, and I um, see that there's a <laughs> um, gender specific. Bear there are well. different. <laughs> bear, there are definitely different bears. We yes. have, um, you know, there's the polo bear, the sweater bear, and then there's the girl bear. There. Right, and then we're launching a couple. This is called. Um, oh, so there's cool. there's definitely more um, the specific names, but this was what we're calling the hoodie bear. Okay, <laughs> so this is something that we've been really excited. It's a triple black shoe, mm -hmm. and with the red details and the sweater bear. So this is something that for fall. 18 that we're getting some really good reaction to. Yeah, as okay. a layer up to what this program represents. Great. Very cool. So Jasmine, tell me a little bit about what you thought uh, about what they said about the product that they were showing. Um, I like I like what they're doing. I like how they're incorporating the bear into um, their their footwear. And you're used to seeing the polo horses, but right. um, I think the bears are really cute. Something that the adults will like as well as the kids. Kids' business is big business. Yeah, Huge I mean, business. Mm -hmm. just amongst the two of us, Andy. I know exactly. <laughs> going broke. Yeah, <laughs> I'm no, already broke. I'm going further in the that. hole. <laughs> We're not even talking deficit. We're talking debt. That's right. <laughs> All right, Jasmine, you are our uh, shooper star walking around <laughs> oh, the, uh, the nice. FM platform. I like that our title. I'll take that one. shoe liberty. <laughs> um, who, el who else did you visit while um, you were uh, walking around? So while I was walking around, I actually ran into the uh, vice president of sales for Sinclair Brands. Okay. So that's yeah. a ton of brands. Uh, another proud we love them. member. Yes. Um, so uh, he had... Um, he had a lot to say about like their marketing and yeah. um in in the consumer. So I, I really liked I really like that. I think the audience will enjoy that one as well. Very cool. Let's hear it. Peter Vacamo with Sinclair Brands. Um, we are here at FM Platform. Um, first day here. Um, Peter, is it your first time at FM, or have you been with Sinclair Brands for a long time? I've been with Sinclair Brands for a long time, and okay. we've been at the show for a long time. Oh, of course. <laughs> How long have you been um, with the brand? Um, for nine years now. Okay, and do you have any um, 
you know, new things that you have for this collection? Anything exciting? Anything that you see selling the most? Uh, well, one of the new things is we just introduced a brand, uh, Born, Born okay. for Kids. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, what's special about the brand? Is there anything that you um, like it's, it, it's, um It's following what the Born brand means as okay. far as comfort and mm -hmm. fit for the child. Okay, cool. And anything, um, the older brands that, you know, that's come out recently, any new materials that you've been using? Um, you know how kids love to have like the additions to their shoes or anything like that? Um, not really. I mean, you know, we, we always use a lot of different materials, glitters, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sugar glitters and rock glitter and right. all kinds of, you know, stones and applications kids love on cool. the shoes. But, Any uh, specific colors that you're focusing on this season? Um, well, gold is a very big color this year, so we're, okay. we're doing a lot with gold. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is there any specific way that you find that works well when marketing to kids and moms? Well, one of the things that always helps is that the brands that we have moms buy for themselves okay so then they mm -hmm. like to see that for right. their children Aversion. right and then what then marketing to the kids is the use of the colors and right. the materials so mom's shoe might be your plain basic colors but mm -hmm. the kids are in the fancier golds or have the ornaments on it that or moms the don't glitter, right. or the version. glitter yeah exactly okay. so that attracts a child's eye mom sees a brand that she knows and she's comfortable with and and, and is happy with mm -hmm. and that that helps the sale and do you feel like for your uh, children's wear is it better online or in person since you know kids foot grows so often as the world changes online is becoming more and more important you know yeah. we see we see online business growing at a rate of almost 10 percent year over year and we don't see that changing anytime soon so um yeah, in store is still important but online <laughs> is becoming the norm so you have um like within your campaigns you will have you know, like a, a mommy wearing the same exact shoe as the kid. Right. So, yeah. So a lot of our success does come off of uh, direct takedowns from women. So we do a lot of mommy and me kind of campaigns. Okay. So like if you take a, a brand specific, like Sam Edelman has the Felicia Ballet for mm -hmm. women's, which is one of their most popular shoes. Mm -hmm. But we have the Felicia Ballet for kids too. Okay. And again, the marketing scheme is mom has hers in the in the nice leathers, but we do ours in the nice glitters. Right. So it attracts the eye, but it's still a mommy and me takedown. And that's a great marketing tool. And do you find yourself always placing both shoes in the same places in the stores? Or is that strategic, um, placing both the kids and the women's? Well, usually, yeah, in, in, the, in the locations where they carry both kids and women's, okay. yeah, that's mm -hmm. the most important thing is that mommy and me aspect is a great selling tool even to the even for us to sell to the stores, not just to the right. consumer as right. well. So mm -hmm. it's a great aspect of sales. And that'll up your sales from both. Correct, right. correct. Okay. What's the youngest you start with? Oh, infants all the way to, to probably about 10, 11, 12-year-old girls. Okay. Yeah. Specifically girls? Uh, boys too. But yeah, boys grow out of it sooner because... Um, obviously, their feet are, are, you know, get bigger. So when they get to the be around 11, 12 years old, they're probably into men sizing by then. And, you know, we miss, that's when they cross over into, uh, into men's. Yeah, do you see anything selling the most um, recently? Like anything that's, or even last year? Well, I mean, the, the most important category right now, I think, is um, low boots. You know, low, okay. bo low boots is... Like a booty? Like a booty. Okay. Yeah, booties are the big thing. It's kind of... It's kind of taken over a lot of business from the ballets. Ballet flats were very strong for girls. Now booties are the big thing. Yeah, because they're not yet a heel, but exactly. a little height. Exactly. Still comfortable. Exactly. Okay. Oh, and for more information, where can people find your brand at? Oh, um, you can find us at kidshoes.com. Kidshoes.com. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Peter. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> there goes that music again. <laughs> it's the kids. Very cool. I mean, I, I guess we focus sometimes so much on uh, athletic brands and their marketing and all that yeah. that we forget. There's a lot that goes into marketing kids' shoes. Tons. I mean, from print, like circulars, all the way to online digital ads now to attract mom's yeah. eye, dad's eye, uh, try to get more... You know, footwear traffic in stores. There's yeah. a lot that goes into that. Is there you know? anything cuter than a kid sporting little Jordans or baby Timberlands? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing cuter than that, all right? Yeah, and that's what he was, you know, really stressing. Like, that's the best way to market is, you know, turning that adult shoe into a kid's version. And that's right. not really something. I don't buy any kid shoes. I don't have any intentions on buying them. Oh, oh Jasmine. Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Talk about shoe stories. Breaking news, people. <laughs> but it was very interesting to see that. 
I, I never really thought about it in that way. And that is like one of the cutest things to see the little small version of your own shoes. So. Yeah. Maybe that's stuff. like the trend, right? The mom and the dad get yeah, the, the same mom, pairs of the shoes and, and the yeah. kid yeah. gets the mm-hmm. shoes too. Yep. I did buy uh, for Kelly and Charlotte, I bought like matching uh, toboggans oh, or uh, beanies cool. for Christmas. So cool. maybe I, lo- I need to look into some matching shoes as well. Yeah. So. With the job that you have and the podcast you host, that sounds about I need to right. leverage yeah. my celebrity status to that's get shoes right. basically, that's right? right. Michael Kors has like a great mommy and me. Okay. Situation going on. Mommy and I me? See, yeah. yeah. So wow. I think you'll like that. Very cool. Very there cool. All right, Jasmine. Well, thanks for going out <laughs> yeah, there and hitting the, the pavement, we refuse doing to all do. the dirty work. <laughs> I just want to sit here at the booth and, you know, read my emails. So, you know. <laughs> uh, folks, as always, this is Shoe and Show. We're talking about all types of shoes, uh, looking at the ins and outs of the industry. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, you can uh, go to our website, shoeandshow.com, and see the complete list of our guests and episodes. Um, you can also suggest, uh, we just had a, a, a person come by who's a loyal listener out of Minnesota. And, yep. uh, you know, she was telling us that she had some ideas for what she wanted to hear, and we welcome those. Absolutely. So definitely hit us We're up on our website. Ideas, That's people. right. Let's just say or guest ideas. So definitely hit us up and uh, converse with us. But uh, until next time, for Matt, Jasmine, and myself, Shoein is out. Shoein has been brought to you by the FDRA, the footwear industry's association focused on retail, trade, politics, and fashion, helping create and enhance conversations on all things footwear. For information about FDRA, visit FDRA.org.